Load Meetings simply means to select the meeting or meetings you want to look at and to open them in the GTX program. Clicking on the Load Race button on the speed bar or the Load Meetings button on the mini speed bar or Race Load on the menu bar will open the Meeting Management menu where you can select the meetings you want to load. I'll cycle back to a day that has metro, provincial and country meetings. OK, here's a few pointers on the use of the meeting management menu. Please note that only meetings that you have downloaded will appear in the menu. To select a meeting, click on the meeting's three-letter code. To deselect a meeting, click it again. To select all metropolitan meetings, Double click on an M, which indicates a metropolitan meeting. The same goes for P, which is provincial, and C for country meetings. To select all New South Wales meetings, double click on a New South Wales meeting. The same goes for other states. To select all meetings for the displayed date, double click on the date. Whatever method you use, the meetings you select will appear in the selected meetings list. If the meetings have been downloaded but don't appear in this list, you can rebuild the list by selecting Update Meeting List. If they still don't appear, they will not have been downloaded. To remove a meeting from the selected meetings list, click once on its three letter code. To remove all selected meetings, click the Clear All button. No matter what day's meetings are currently showing in the menu, you can select all today's meeting by clicking on the T button. To select tomorrow's meetings, click the plus one button. The day after tomorrow, the plus two button. And select yesterday's meetings with the minus one button. Once you have selected the meetings you want, Click the Load Meetings button, but before you do that on your initial occasion, there's another setting you need to be aware of. By using this little button, you can load your races either by post time or by track. Even though visually in both options the meetings are loaded alphabetically from the left in the Meeting and Race Selection bar, there is a difference in the sequence that GTX uses to cycle through the races when you use the next race and previous race buttons, and that difference is this. If you load your races by track, after you click the Load Meetings button, Race 1 of the leftmost meeting will display, in this case Call Field. When you click the Next Race Toolbar button, the race that appears will be the next race to start at that particular track. For example, if you are now viewing Caulfield Race 1, the next race will be Caulfield Race 2, then Race 3, etc. Once you cycle through to Caulfield Race 9, the next race to display will be the first race of whichever track comes next in the alphabetical list, in this case Doombin and so on. Now load by post time. If you load your races by post time, when you've looked at a race then want to select the next race with the next race toolbar button, the race that appears will be the next race to start, selected from whatever meetings you have loaded. In this example, you can see that we have loaded the day's races and Doombin Race 1 is the first race of the day, starting at 12.08. If we click the Next Race button, we see that the next race to start is Kyneton Race 1, starting at 12.21, and the next is Morfolkville Parks Race 1 at 12.22. Let me open the Meeting Management menu again to show you the Track and Post Time button operation. This Post Time or Track Loading option does not need to be selected each time you load meetings. Once you have selected either of the options, 
the setting will be maintained for all subsequent loadings until you change it. Visually, the difference is very subtle, but if the button is in the up position, the meetings will load by track. If the button is in the pressed or down position, meetings will load by post time. While we're in the meeting management window, I'll draw your attention to the delete meetings button. Occasionally race meetings are abandoned, usually because of extreme weather. These meetings can be deleted from GTX with the delete meetings button. However, it's important to remember that you must not have the meeting that is about to be deleted loaded in GTX at the time of the deletion. Here's an example. As you can see here, we still have the Saturday the 5th of February meetings loaded. I know that the Geraldton meeting for 3rd of February was abandoned, so I'll just cycle back to 3rd of February and select the Geraldton meeting, the same as if I was going to load it, but instead I click Delete Meetings. Then confirm and it's gone.